Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at the Gulp CSS Base64 package and what this uh, plugin or package does, sorry, is turns any um, external resources found or uh, sorry local resources found in CSS to base 64 encoded, uh, encoded data URI strings so essentially if you've got say four or five background images uh, in your CSS possibly loading from your lo your images folder on your server or some external uh, image servers, say um, Imager for example, or, or something like that, then those are extra HTTP calls that the browser has to do and obviously that includes DNS lookup and all that kind of stuff obviously slows down the website and adds to the poor user experience. So converting them into Base64 actually takes away the pain of extra HTTP uh, connections. So all the browsers read the encoding and can convert that into an image so there's no extra calls. So um, let's get started. I've got this really really basic um, dodgy looking uh, site here, it's just an index HTML and you'll see um, I've got three uh, divs in the page. I've got image one, image two and image three. The first one is a Heroku logo logo, the second is part of a uh, Node.js logo and the third one is part of the NPM logo. So you can actually see that they all um, at the minute are coming from my local um, directory. So that's three HTTP calls for those images. Now let's look at the code. Right then, here's the basic uh, HTML code so I'm just linking to the style sheet which is in the local directory I've got the three divs here um, in the style sheet here's the code really really basic we've got the background images a few width and height settings and then just the background color on the body in the gulp file this is the code so we've got we're requiring gulp we then need to require obviously the base 64 CSS plugin we're, we're running the default task which looks for the stylesheet.css that then runs the base64 plugin or command and when that's done it will output it into the CSS folder which will be named the same as what it originally searched for so if you'll notice in my HTML there's no it's not linking to the CSS folder at the moment that's because there isn't one so if I save that and then refresh the page we'll see a, wa um, a, a white space here blank page and it says slash CSS slash style sheet dot CSS error file not, not found that's because there actually isn't one in the directory as you can see there now all we have to do is just run the gulp plugin um, and here we go default 22 milliseconds so incredibly fast and all we have to do now is if I ls you can see now it's created the CSS folder with the stylesheet.css in. So if I refresh our HTML page, there we go, it's back to normal. Everything looks the same, but if we inspect the element, you'll notice now it's the URL is the data image base64. Um, there, you can see the code. So it's done that for all three images. It's got an SVG, it's got a PNG, and another PNG. So you can see there, obviously, that will add a little bit of extra code into the style sheet itself, but with minification and gzipping and that kind of thing, that shouldn't be a problem. So I hope you found this useful. Um, if so, let me know. Um, or if not, then also let me know. I'm, I'm interested in your criticism, positive or negative. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find this video useful and uh, keep. Stay tuned for other Gulp plugin videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.